Kite Surfer Ray here with NorCal Bees and uh, today what we're doing is we're installing some hives. This is one of my new clients home right here in beautiful Woodside. Um, we chose the site that we thought would be good for the bees and more importantly good for the clients. Where this site is is that the bees will come out and they will go up and over the house and, and that way. So, you know, if the kids are running around or whatever, the bees are not going to be the way. If it was me, I would more like it be more interactive with it down there but this is a, a good spot for the client so the first step we do is we build a, um, a hive stand so we built this custom hive stand here next thing we're going to do is we're going to start uh, installing all this equipment and then we'll be adding the bees and then uh, every month two months depending on what time of year it is we'll come back we'll um, check on the bees we'll feed the bees if necessary we'll treat for mites if we need to um, obviously we'll harvest the honey we'll extract it we can bottle it make custom labels however far the client wants to go we can do that and um, you know and we try to get the clients involved as much as possible you know ideally they could take it over and just maintain it themselves I'm all about trying to create more beekeepers and get more bees out in you know into this world where we're losing 44 percent national average so um, anyway Let's get together and we'll uh, start putting this stuff, the equipment here, and then we will add the bees. So we got our hive set up. Um, put in a couple feeders, fill it up with some uh, Man Lake Pro Feed because these bees don't know where they're at. And it's gonna take them a while to follow the forage. And plus, everything in this is all brand new. So they have to dry out all this wax before they could uh, ever put any nectar, pollen, or the queen can lay an egg. So. Um, we like to always give them a little head start when we're starting a new hive. So here's our box of bees. It's packed full of bees. It's going to take them a few days to get orientated to this spot. So after installation for the first two days, the bees will be flying around in a lot of circles. And, um, you know, trying to orientate themselves. And once they figure out where they're at um, they will just go over and out you know they always go straight out and then up and then they'll probably be going to the right and to the left depending on where the forage is so we've already marked the Queens with a blue dot that's this year's color so it'll make it easier to find her and so now it's just a matter of uh, moving these frames into this box Nice frames of brood right there. All right, we got these girls installed. We got the hives all set up and the hive stand and uh, we're ready to move on to the next one. And like I said, uh, until they get orientated, they're gonna be kind of flying around, but once they figure it all out, they'll just be going back and forth, back and forth in a, almost like at the airport, a steady stream on their flight pattern. So uh, we got one more to go do. And of course we try to use the most friendliest bees we can. And we just had these bounced around in a truck, drove them here, put them in this new place. And you know, you don't see anybody attacking me here. So, uh, you know, that's one of the things we try to provide is really friendly bees. So uh, we'll see you on the next one.